What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is another Redfall video. Now if you checked out my last one on the pros and cons of the game, you'll see that I actually really enjoyed this game and uh, whatnot. But this is one of being my favourite boss fights so far. It's about halfway through the game after you beat the first island. So yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool fight to be honest. Like look how big he is. Like he's breathing fire and stuff and he's got different levels like most bosses do. So you can see I'm playing with my beautiful girlfriend again. She's, uh, she's distracting from the front while I'm trying to get him from the back. So, yeah, we're really, really trying to work as a team here, which is, like, this game, it's just so much better cop. It really is. Like, I've put some time in now, and it's, um, yeah, it's way better cop. Like, I, I don't really enjoy it without it. But see, that uh, this is my ult here. I didn't talk about last video about what my character really does, but this is what it does. It puts out UV light and kind of, like, for the normal vampires it'll freeze and you can punch them but these little uh, like lightning things you can uh, they just evaporate them. and it also like heals you does more damage so you know I, I don't feel like many zombie games have that sort of like ability based thing that you can use I, I really like it. it just gives another element to the game but yeah you can see so we've done the first phase here of the hollow man um, so he just puts a shield around him so you got to go around and kill these little generators so now we get that back and now we start working on him again i couldn't really find too many weak spots on him he did open his chest every so often i found um but yeah like it's just, like right there so we just ult here again we're just gonna heal us oh nice see you right there yeah that's where you want to shoot so it's pretty good um yeah my partner's just like distracting him one side and i'm getting pretty free shots on him so she knows what she's doing um it's actually pretty cool like playing with her now like she's starting to learn more and more she wasn't a gamer until she met me so um yeah it's real really good fun the game like redfall is it's perfect for the casual people as well as the hardcore people like i'm more of a hardcore game and she's more casual but we're both enjoying it equally so i think she goes clutch here for me actually i'm i'm downed and i'm like oh no no we're gonna we're gonna lose a fight sort of thing and watch this here she comes it's like fending them off a little while and he just goes gets to gets to revive so without that i would have been screwed so lucky i had a man lucky i had a um so yeah um in this game you can get pinned a little bit but now she's down i'll return the favor so if i use my teleport thing i can get it over there it's a little bit glitchy the teleport thing as you can see i'm trying to revive it but it's telling me i'm going to teleport so sometimes you go to do it and you end up teleporting without reviving um, it can be a little bit of a, a little bit of a nuisance, but you know, it is what it is. So we're just trying to break this generator on the shield, and we're having a bit of a hard time. I think these guys are explosive guys, um, so they do they do blow you up when you kill them. So you got to be stand back a bit. Um, so that just if you're stuck on this boss, just you know just make sure you stand back from those blood bags. Um, anywhere you go, there's a few levels with the blood bags in them. Um, you just got to be really careful. This is a hard, yeah. So this is the last stage here. He gets these little shield walls up, and he's actually really hard to hit. Um, because there's, I think in a minute, pretty sure, like, yeah, he's shooting that thing, and so you only get a couple shots at him, so you can see I'm trying to distract him at the moment, or she's trying to get shots in the back, but it's really hard. So I'm, I start using my teleport, um, to try to get that flank, like, in between the shields, but you only get a couple of shots. And then these little... Um, butterflies that he puts out they're really really hard to dodge as well so um, like you can see it's just hurting it's just hurting so we're gonna get that um, gonna pump the shields up a little bit and then so I'm, I'm just really struggling to get shots so I think I, sh I think I had a stake launcher do I pull it out I'm not sure if, if I use a stake launcher I would have done a lot more damage but it's just it wasn't guaranteed hits so like you can see, I'm probably doing the right. I I need to stand in one spot. I think, but I'm trying to run around. I'm running around with the shield perfectly. So uh, I think there's a little bug that happens at the end of this. But um, yeah. So the partner died again. We'll revive her as she revived me earlier. All right. So we're just gonna keep running. So we we were, we were like, oh no, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. And we go, okay, he's down. <laughs> I think this is where it happens. And I, I thought you would stake him or something, right? So we start trying to punch him. It's a stake. It's a stake. And we're like, what is going on? Like, I'm pressing everything. Like, it's not working. This is like the bug. And look, watch. Right, she goes to do that and then just glitches through the floor <laughs> and dies. So, 
Yeah, that's it. But anyway, guys, that's the Hollow Man fight. I really hope you enjoyed my commentary on this, and that's how it, how it went. So um, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you leave a like, a comment, and have a great day. Catch ya.